So, what is Sam going to do on his turn one? Come on. Bring the drop pod. First things first, the drop pod comes in. He's trying to consider what are his options. You know, he has a, he has a if he hit if he, if he hit right on that tree there, he could still get melta shots within range of the land raider. If he doesn't, then basically those stern guard have been wasted and they're probably going to die for no, for no return, basically. But then what is the second likely target in that case? He could go after the Dark Reapers. They stern guard, they, there's three stern guard models in there that have regular bolters, they have combi meltas, so they could use a different type of ammunition and go after these, these guys. But the problem is that these guys are in terrain, so they're going to get a cover save no matter what. Either they're gonna get the regular armor save or they're gonna get their cover save. And they're fortunate. So they're going to right, get, go. he's gonna go over here for some. He's going to go this direction. How many? Eight. Eight? That, so, that's it here, so it'll stop there. So it, drop pods always stop the minimum distance uh, when they're going, if they're going somewhere, if they're, if they're gonna fly over something. D cannons or, or pathfinders. Yeah, he could go after the Pathfinders. Um, he, the Stern Guard do come with a type of ammunition that ignores cover. So, <laughs> I'm, I you know? almost you know. positive. Oh, yeah. We'll double check. So, they have several different types of ammunition with Stern Guard, and what the ones that Sam's gonna use in this case is called the Dragon Fire Volts. They're Strength 4, AP 5, Rapid Fire ignores cover. So the three guys that have combi, bolt yeah, combi sure bolters are going to much. use their regular ammunition and just Try and whack those those poor. Uh, uh, he didn't like me shooting liners. his terminators in the eyeballs. No. no, I want to make you back up and put another troop choice on that. <laughs> yeah, well, the only have Dave only has limited troop choices. He had to bring two, and so and he had to bring one for per only for, one. The per only side. One scoring after that is your bikes. Yeah, he has bikes and he has pathfinders as his scoring units. So Sam's going for the, I can't get rid of the nastiness in the Land Raider, I can't get rid of the Land Raider, I'm just gonna have to settle for trying to blow up your troop choices instead. It's a good tactic. Remember the goal of the game. If, if, if it wasn't for my tactic of, I table you, therefore I win regardless of, <laughs> of modifiers. Bring it on, Dave, let's do this that's, thing. That's my objective, I'm going for yeah. it. Right. If you table your opponent, you win. All right, so Dave is going for the tabling. He doesn't. He doesn't. Mi he doesn't mind or care. I may. I may try to hold an objective or two along the way. Just Perhaps. to be fair. By the way, I was always going to put my pathfinders here. So. Oh, okay. So. I wasn't forced into anything because I wanted that's okay. troops' choice there. <laughs> Touche. That's okay. By putting the vindicator up front, I have a greater range. Of he only has thirty-six inch range. Vindicator. Vindicator. Honestly, don't I don't know why, people. I mean, he's got a sniper rifle, he should be 48. Sniper rifles are always 36. They have sniper rifles, they should be 48. I know, they should always be 48, that's my opinion. But whatever, that's one shot, right? So, to be fair, to be fair, I'd say, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as Dave, Sam. If, if he'd had, like, something really nasty with maybe Melta or something that he could have infiltrated, which obviously the Eldar don't, but if he had something that would have gone after your forces are close up, um, I would have been more worried about him holding the center. The big thing with the Pathfinders for me is Pathfinders are great at shooting, especially if you babysit them with somebody who can uh, for, you know, guide them or something, and you have a fat unit of them, then they become pretty nasty, but they're terrible in close combat. They, they get worked in close combat. They're, you know, they're initiative four. I mean, the ballistic weapon skill three, they get just destroyed. So I would have worried if it had been me placing them in the center, I would have worried that the first thing you would do is come up and kill them. Um, so yeah, no, I thought about that too. But the, I mean, it's true that I did put him, I did put him there to to try to force him from you know into a corner. But but I didn't really expect him to put it in the middle anyway. Well, I couldn't have. The reason why your terminators are right there. The, the closest reason, I could yeah. have gotten center was here. 
The reason why I put him there anyway was was just to get just to control the space a little bit more. I'm hoping to get some shield breaking shots off, and uh, eventually I might pop around the corner and try to shoot the Exarch out of the sky there in, in the Dark Reapers. But that probably won't happen. Right now they're playing hide and seek with each other. <laughs> It's true. You uh, well, actually, it's a good question. Uh, what give? It's the runic armor on the on the uh, farseer that gives him an invone, right? Yes. yes. So, uh, one thing that Sam could do right now is go ahead and do a shield breaking round on that farseer and try and take that out. He could just have to wound him. It's true. That's a good thing to remember, though, about the. Uh, about the assassin, and something that I tend to, for, I've not known until now, is that his uh, shield breaking round right, only um, destroys, got a two on that roll, so he's okay, he doesn't get, doesn't get immobilized coming out of the terrain. Um, he only gets uh, to break invones that, com that come from equipment. So characters that just have an invone built into them because of, for whatever reason fate that's reason. not fate weaver or the sanguinar or uh abdon do not lose cannot lose their end bone to to that shield breaking round no, no kidding, huh? yeah it's it specifically says warrior and the, sh the sanguinars is like a blessing or unyielding wheel or will or whatever <laughs> stupid. and uh avatars just have it fate weaver all demons just have it it's not any of their armor or anything right so you can't get rid of their involvement with the Vindicare for those of you out there in TV land where your opponent's been doing that to you. Sorry. <laughs> Fate Weaver's still worth bringing, unfortunately. That guy's that guy probably the biggest cheese in the game. It's pretty bad. Abaddon's good, too. Abaddon's good, too, except for the fact that Abaddon only has a four-up and doesn't get to re-roll it. Sure. That doesn't. That, that that means that yes. But usually the opponent doesn't. But he has Eternal Warrior, and usually his opponent is dead to not get to try to kill him on round two. Right. Right. True. Oh, you know, I don't even have to see the Exarch. I just to shoot your squad. <laughs> I'll just do that. Oh, There's some hokiness. No. Rules is written. So all it says is that I get to allocate the wound. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot this guy on the edge and it's going to bounce off his head and kill the Exarch. <laughs> That's really silly. Kind of. <laughs> Those are the, the rules as written sometimes uh, definitely makes it, uh, makes yeah, things that seem like they would be logical not actually happen. It's all good. All right, so... To be fair, though, the Exarch we'll is fortuned, start, so... We'll start with the... Yeah, he's gonna... All right. Well, I might not rest. Yeah, sure. Um, it's an AP-1 gun. It's an AP-1 gun? Yeah. That's, that's a sniper. It's an AP-1 sniper. It's an AP-1 sniper weapon. That is silly. <laughs> <laughs> Really is. Uh, yeah, I wasn't lying to you. There's a reason I tried to shoot him. He's gay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna shoot at the Exarch. Okay. By proxy, I'm gonna hit. It's dead. Do I do not get cover saves? I do get cover. Oh saves. yeah, I guess you do get a cover save. All right. So he wounded him, but he does get a cover save, which, which I made. made. Oh, that's yeah. So, didn't work. That would have been fun anyway. All right, over here, let's do this important thing. So you're gonna rapid fire your... Uh, only three of them have both three of them. Yeah, the other, the other two have to use their melted guns. Yeah. So looking for threes, both skill four on Stern Guard. Nice hits. Uh, threes to wound, because it's strength One's four. Ones and twos. Uh, four of them die, because oh, it is AP5. 
And then melted guns. Two melted guns hit. Two to wound. That was a cock die, so we'll reroll that. Two cover two, saves. Two cover saves. So there's got one guy left. Roll a one. That that uh could live. Live. Alright. So a morale check for those guys. We paused for a moment. Uh Gene had asked me a question, but we were Thomas, talking about uh different um options that Sam had to fire. He was asking about the different types of our the different types of uh ammo or shot that the Thunderfires have. Um, and one of the things that's terribly useful about them is that they, they're only 100 points apiece, and they can bring, they, they, they come with three different shots. They have the longest range of anything in the Space right, Marine Codex um, except for a conversion beamer on the, the okay. uh, hits, hits the machine gun. Uh, one will glance, so a, just a cover save on one of the D cannons. And I've made it. That's fine. Um, rocket launcher, the D cannons. Hit. No, that machine? That's, a machine. that's a machine. And it does do a pen or penetrate. <laughs> made a cover save. <laughs> that's why you gotta shoot stuff that will take away his cover. Shoot stuff that'll take away his cover. Yeah. These guys have cover safe too. They move fast. No, you have to shoot him with things that take away his cover. Like your Thunderfire Cannon special round. Uh, what is the strength on? Is it five? five? Well, I guess so. That's the best choice. If you're gonna do, if if your goal is to take out the D cannons, which. All right. I'm kind of. It might be. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. They can't shoot anything, but the, they're gonna cream the poor stern guard. Stern guard. Well, it really matters. one of the things saying. you gotta think in terms of is that your stern guard is already in a place where they, if Dave chooses to, he can cream them with any no, number I of choices. Well, it would be great if you had to charge him, right? Because then it would move one of his units away for a turn. Are you, uh, what, did you, are you done moving? You didn't move anything else? Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting, I've been shooting. Okay. I'm just curious why you didn't bring the Terminators out of the Storm Raven. Just might as well keep them in there. It's an extra gas to shoot at, and then on the last turn they can pop out and take the objective. Okay. I mean, he's gonna, I mean, he, he's gonna determine the charges. These guys move 12 and assault six. These guys move 12 and assault six. So he's, I mean, he's pretty much got the charges unless he makes a mistake and gets too close and can't charge or something like that. So we're gonna shoot the first thunder fire cannon right there. Okay. Okay. That'll move an inch this way, so it'll still just hit one. Okay. I guess and it will hit. Uh, strength five, right? One in a crew member. So that's two hits, right? Yeah. Okay. That counts that one? Yeah, it does. Okay. So. Well, you roll you gotta, them all. You all roll four all blasts. Four. You have four blasts. They all hit oh, the same that's place. Right. So roll. Is it, so is it a barrage? Does it roll from from where it originally? No, no. it's not a salvo. It's, it's, it's separate. So it's I just four. Keep it's four, four separate times. shots. Yes. Okay. So the roll again. Hits, so that's three, so it's a total of five. Total of eight, because he hit again. And that one will stick as well. With a, can't even see these dice here. So two, and a one. Eleven hero. hits. So eleven hits, now he'll randomize. He's using the strength five. AP six. AP six, so guardian armor is five up, is that right? Yeah. So the guardians will get a uh, regular armor save, five or better. So one through threes hit the can. Hit one the through guns. fours hit the gun. gun. And five, then six. Five, six hits crew. Right, and then he's, once you do this, he's going to assign the hits. Okay. It's, because it's a squadron of guys. So a lot of lots on the crew, only two out of all of that hit the hit the crew. The rest of them hit the hit the guns. So 
he has to assign an equal number, and since there are nine hits on the nine hits on the the guns, it doesn't matter where he signs them. Two are going to hit each one. So go. You should or three are going to hit each one. So you should roll them separately for each one. And, and then I'm looking for fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. Right. Fives and sixes will just destroy him. Um, he's got to choose which model, though, right? Uh, he has to choose which model these two go to for the crew member. The crew members, because he has six. He has six crew. Right, I know, but like for each one, I'm rolling. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll wait and we'll, we'll wait I, and have I, a point. I can say each no, one's hit three times. Each right? one's hit three so times. I'll just roll for each one. Yes. Go ahead right, and just so point for this one. So he's pointing at that one. That one's gone. Uh, this one. Okay. Got that one too. Two right, sixes. One. And he got the last one with that six as well. So all the D cannons have lost their. They have the crew members are still going to be there. They can run around being guardians with their shuriken catapults, but the guns are gone. There's no armor save. There's no armor save on the guns. They are artillery. They count as a vehicle with armor ten. He, gl he glanced and pinned them, and they went away. Rocking. So, we'll pause for a moment here. All Sam can. See. So the the cannons are gone, and then Dave, you assigned them to these two guys, right? Yeah. Right. All right. So we got two two wounds. Uh, that's two wounds because it's strength five against toughness three. So he gets his five up armor save. Two of those guys die as well. So Dave has four, uh, four shuriken catapult using uh, guys left over okay. there. So they'll need to take a morale test. Okay. Um, are done being shot? Yeah. Are, are you yeah. shooting at them anymore, Sam? No. Uh, they yeah, pass on a seven. seven. Guardian leadership is eight. All right, um, the next Thunder Fury Cam, Thunder Fire Cannon. He's gonna put his shot like that. No. Yeah, either way, I'm gonna get like right there. You know, center on that guy, or? Yeah, just, just offsets. So just offsets, if, if you. Scatter, maybe I'll get three, you know. Okay. Scatter die right in front of you. Here, and we'll go ahead and use the so, ter terrain ignoring. Like, like this guy right here. So I want it on the ranger. You got it on the ranger. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has to be on the ranger. Okay. Okay, and then I'll like offset like that. Well, no, like, it has the the center hole has to remain on his base. Right. Um. So that's offset as as you okay. can get right there. That's good. And that will go one inch, which is going the direction that direction. direction. Right. Is that good? Go. I don't know. It's hard to tell for me. Yep. All right. So that'll hit him. Second one will go an inch the other way, which will just hit him. Okay. Third one will go three inches that'll this miss. way, so it will miss. Okay. Fourth one will hit him. So three hits on the ranger. Two to on the ranger. And it's AP dead. six. Oh, it's AP six. So, so five up. Five up saves. So Dave has two, to roll two, two roll five up saves. Save, nope, the ranger died. One to four. Yeah. And then one save on the bikes? Or uh, one, no, it, one it, it missed on the bike. It did, okay, yeah. so then nothing on the bikes. Nothing on the bikes. Okay. Um, all right, rocket launchers, missile launchers, rather, cyclones. You can shoot the dark reapers. Check your 36 inch range for the heavy bolter. Oh, for the heavy bolter? Heavy bolter can shoot 36. Did it only move six or twelve? Only move six. That's one of the things that's nice about skimmers. Is skimmers. I guess I'll find out for the other one. Skimmers um, are uh, three shots from the heavy bolter. Three shots from the heavy bolter, and two then from two, two from the missiles. He's going to use crack rounds with the missiles. So everything but one hits, and we're looking for twos either way. So three, three. wounds. Uh, two of them. Our cover saves. One of them is regular. Okay. So I will not. Oh yeah. I will not take uh, any on the Exarch. Okay. So, so three regular cover. guys. Cover okay. and. And I get a reroll up. Some fortune. Fortune. So one guy dies. And armor. He's fine. That's good. Sorry if the dice are a little bit hard to see, guys. We're. I'm trying to call out the numbers as I see them so that uh, you don't have that. You can know what the result is even if he was. Are you out on the heavy bolter, Sam? Yeah, so just All right, two so missiles. Two missiles. Here. Two misses. Wow, that's two weird. and a two. What's next? Um, we got this thing. I 
So he has a multi melter which is probably out of range, a LAS cannon, and then he's got missiles. You can only fire one of them because I stunned him. Oh yeah, and oh, I got power of machine spirit. He could have he could have used fortune, um, fortitude. or fortitude, uh, which is a gray knight ability on their vehicles. To they take a psychic test and they can get rid of stunned or shaken, but he didn't do that at the beginning of the turn, and he would have had to roll it on three dice because of. Uh, uh, so we're just gonna shoot here. the. Yeah. We're just gonna saw it. We're shooting the last the last cannon at the dark reapers again. An attempt to get rid of them. Twin linked. Still misses. I'm gonna stop rolling that die. That die is going in the corner. It's been a bad die. So he shot all this. Is gonna run. Oh, run with the terminators. Four inches on the run for them. So he's trying to run them further away so that they can't get assaulted by uh, the nasty, nasty guys there. The nasty, uh, we need this nastiness right here. Okay, uh, so that's Iron everything. Surfs. So it's turn two for Dave. They show up. Does get his, his Guardian jet bikes. For the simplicity, since these guys didn't come with bases, we just left them here like this. Um, but technically, they're like this, running around. We can probably just leave them. We'll just do it like that. They'll just, they don't have bases, which is a, a short sight that will be fixed if somebody were to purchase this army, for instance. Hmm. So he's trying to decide where he's going to bring his jet bikes on. They come off. The, they come on from the table edge, um, allowing them to move. You know, as fast as bikes can usually move, which is up to 24. Um, one thing that's interesting about turbo boosting is you have to move at least 18 inches to get the cover save. And every model in the unit on bikes has to move 18 inches. I believe it's the same as, same is true of skimmers too. They have to move 18 inches. No, no over 12. Over 12, over 12. I knew I was right about that. Did someone tell you you were wrong? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. We're, it's all right. So Dave is considering bringing them in over here. I think he's trying to look to get some more firepower out, out these stern guard maybe, or uh, hiding back here in the corner to try and give them, a, try and have them come on later since they, he, they're the, his only viable troop choice left. Um, the third troop choice he brought is the uh, raging death company, which uh, can't control because they they'll rage off to the closest um, enemy target. Well, that and they're not scoring. Yeah, they're troop choices that aren't scoring. Kind of a fun little twist that you don't see very often. Really, really nasty in close combat, though. 